I think the process of mentoring, whether it's in acne, rosacea, or anything, is really something that grows over time. When you're early in your career and just starting out, you, you sort of feel like you're alone and you look to people above you who were um, my mentors or your mentors. But as you get into a position where you're beginning to you know, have a research program, you've been through things, it's only natural to want to share that experience with people who are struggling the same way that you struggled. So mentorships has always been really important for me because it, it brings the whole group up rather than just one person. So if you think about it, you know, if I were doing research, which I was and still do, uh, <laughs> and if it was me having one grant, that's one grant with acne and rosacea. But if I can mentor and support others, there's going to be more grants for acne and rosacea. So rather than just, you know, spending all of my time on my research efforts, I really wanted to help other people to develop those efforts and learn from the things that I went through over the years. And it sort of happens, you know, within my university, across the nation, across the country, um, reviewing grants, reviewing manuscripts. So mentoring and helping people to achieve their research goals is one of the most rewarding things of my entire career. And even when I retire, I will still be doing that. <laughs> so um, that's the way I feel that I'm giving back to our specialty for all the help that's been given to me over my career.